Hello, and welcome back to our Skyrim Let's Play Tales of Baldassar the Great. Yeah, yesterday we were given the blood of the beast. We can now become a werewolf. And with that, our beloved friend and shield brother Skorn was brutally murdered by the savage silver hand. Ah, so what are we gonna do? Not a cloud in the sky. It feels kind of unnatural. There is Couch in the Sky. We are gonna hunt them down. Oh yeah, we're gonna hunt them down bad. So, yeah. And I've gotten a new way to sh shift around my different type of things here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> now these two do uh, does a hell of a lot more damage and I am protected by some kind of force fields and stuff like that. Oh my god. Okay. Clo uh, Cloak of Souls and Death Peel. <laughs> Cloak of Souls means that if they die within a certain time, well actually if, if they just die, I, uh, I suck their soul into a soul gem and Death Peel uh, what the fuck does that do? I can't, uh, can't remember. Ah, okay. Cool. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this one. Magics. Talk of Souls. For 120 seconds, nearby hostile targets fill a soul gem on death. Yeah. Cool. Death Pale. Surrounds the castle with a death energy for 60 seconds. Increases damage done by blight... Uh, Blighted curse and necrosis, and necrosis is what I have here. Cool. Let's mount up this saber, uh, saber beast. Look at that! Look at that cool aura thingy. <laughs> and every time I use it, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Yeah, it only gets stronger. Waterfall Cave. Yeah, that's another entrance to my house. Ooh, we got a saber cat in the distance. Well, let's not kill him. What the hell? Oh, so that's how uh, my... Uh seen a friendly giant before. What is over here? Cool. That is not what we're after. So many deers all of a sudden. What the fuck is going on? More wolves. 
school there. Damn. The mini wolfies. Okay, what's that? What's going on here? Huh. Don't mess with the pussy. Alchemist. God damn it! Oh, Sophia, you sexy bitch! Nothing. Hey, how you doing, Saber Cat? Um. God damn it, I forgot your name. Oh yeah, Slopapus. That's right, Slopapus. <laughs> that was your name. That's the name we called you, Slopapus. <laughs> what the fucked up name? Slopapus. Just, uh... Elephant is unfriendly. Okay, let's not uh, mess with them this time around. I don't think my magic is strong enough to. You never did tell me about your parents. I mean. You were dragonborn, so do you have ancestors that are dragons? That would be really disturbing if you did. Who the fuck are you? Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Ah, well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent thane, well, let's just say, best not. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. Some may find their inspiration tucked away in tomes, or by carousing in the cities, but I find it here, in the vast expanses of Skyrim. Cool. Good day. Yeah, good day to you too, buddy. You won't leave here alive. Ah, that's how we do that. Okay, he just took down a couple of bandits on his own. He is no ordinary bard. That's for damn sure. Void bolt. Holy crap. Magic tool, void bolt. Magic. There it is. Expert. Ho whoa. Sends a bolt of dark energy at the target, causing damage equal to 15% of the caster's current health. Restores health equal to 50% of uh, that damage to the caster after, uh, after 3 seconds. Whoa! 217 mana cost? Damn! I'm gonna try and send this at, at some gigantic motherfucker. 
Well, actually, we can't. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Well, because it says current mana, right? So after I've used it, I've used up 217, then what is left is the damage it does. So, and I don't have, I don't think I have 217. I got 287, okay. So that's, that's about 60 damage it does. That's nothing. Now, if I had 400 uh, mana, then it would be something, giving it 200 damage. Damn! Okay, we need to get up here. There's a road right up here somewhere. Well, that should be. Look, your roll up. Yeah, here we go. Ah, almost. Hey, my good friend Henry is now playing Armor 3. Also known as. Apparently, alchemists eat ingredients to learn how to make potions. That doesn't sound very pleasant to me. Nope. I mean, who in the right mind would eat a giant stow or troll fat? As for eating thistles and antlers. That sounds pain. Get up. And the dragon. This here is a book. Made by a player. This is a book made by a player. Oh, this is pretty cool. We're gonna, gonna have to read that. Dragon scale. Akatosh. Huh. Yep, here we go. This here is a border town. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slap a puss, you stupid cat! Stop pushing me down a mountain. Even though it's okay. I didn't kill him, I didn't get killed. Where? What is this place? Like a little border town or something like that. And the Kashits are here. And Slava pushes the. Oh. Warwick's dead. What's going on? What? What are they all shooting at? Okay, I think we just decided. We're going with the storm cloaks. You've obviously never met me, otherwise you would be cowering right now. It's 
not about how much gold you have. It's about how much of it you spend on me. <laughs> it was a joke. Honest. Imperial cape. Although I wouldn't. That's or maybe a necklace. So we're going with the storm cloaks apparently. Ah, now I'm getting messages. Must admit the imperial cloak looks so cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, uh, PS, hi, YouTube. Lord Jacob, you little son of a bitch. What a waste. What a waste. Yeah, something like that. Hey, who are you? Get away from me. What? I haven't done anything. Get away from me. Take it easy, girls. Damn. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, my bad. It's this way. Oh, my God. Well, we got a little bit of a battle going on here, didn't we? Ha, ha, ha. Okay. There's lava puss. Yeah, we're gonna go with the storm cloaks apparently. <laughs> Good. Okay. The road is long and treacherous. Will our hero and hero and whoa get in one piece and not get their ass bitten off by wolves? God damn it. I sincerely hope so. And we will now lead them to their journey and catch up with them when they get there. Yeah, just saying. See you when we get there. Well, well, well. It would seem we have come across a dragon. And he's right down there. So how are we going to do this? This cat is more mountain climber than anything. Oh, damn. Ooh, there's way down here. Cool. Oh, ooh, that's a bear. 
Let's get a little bit away from him so I can get my spells up and running. There we go. Uh, Sold him large enough. Hey, how you doing? You are the best slobber puss. He gave you a good run for your money, didn't he? Yeah. Good slobber puss. Hmm? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Okay. Let's hope he survives. Because I know there's, uh, there's a guy after him. I cannot best you! Did you see someone run past just now? Hmm... No, I didn't see anyone. Well, if you do, grab him and yell. Bastard stole from me. All right, then. True Nords never back down. You'll pay me good, huh? You know what? I have an idea. I know what happens if he wins and we give him, we get like a hundred gold. Gold on a gem, yeah, nice. Oh, oh you had oh, some luck picks. What did a bastard over here have on him? Ten gold, and that's it. Oh well. But what did I get? That is the question. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, it's not that. It was a shield. Of, there it is. Steel shield of warning shock. Hmm. Oh well. Oh yeah, I know that uh, our quest was to go over and slaughter the silver hand, but I want to fight a dragon. I get a lot of looks from people wherever I go. I'm not sure if it's because they find me attractive or because they think I'm a little odd. Or both. Uh, okay. Now I gotta figure out how to sneak. Be right back. And I'm back. It's the mouse button, of course. He's right there.
God damn, Slobopus, you're a beast. Damn, Slobopus, you're a beast. capacity to carry it? Yeah, I do. Let's go and have a look and see what it is. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's a roasted truck crisp. Ah, the yelling wall. Elemental Fury, cool. Whoa. Elven armor, nice. Soul gem. This one is good to have. Yeah. Hey, Slavopus. Uh, whoa. Was there something you wanted? Of course. Hungry? I'm so hungry I could even eat you. Uh, I mean, in an unpreferred way, of course. <laughs> Let's not hang around then. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god. Almost made it. Almost made it. Whoa, Slava Push. We're gonna wait outside. I'll give a normal cat. Yeah. Adept. Ow. There we go. What the fuck do I need a torch for? Okay. Well. Gotta move on. Well, uh, the only thing I can say is thank you all so very much for watching. And you son of a bitch. Okay, who's gonna win? The flame Actronok or him? That's a, um, yeah. It was a, um, one of them acolyte thingies or what the fuck you want to call it. Hmm. Right over there.
And that's how you do it. There you are. Good. You know what? It doesn't look like much. Let me give you this. Wait a minute. This isn't the silver hand. Is this... Ah, is this... Bitch! You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Uh... I could persuade her, but actually what he's going to make is uh, the Dwarven crossbow, so... Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of Dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. And trust me, it is. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's the satchel. Just one gyro, one, and I can get back to work. I understand. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Cool. Now let's have a look at these, uh... Let's... This one is a cop's empty. Way to go, Slava Puss. Necrosis, we already have necrosis. Oh, well, now we can sell it. Hmm, nice. But nothing of value. Well, now I can finally say thank you all so very much for watching. I catch on the flip side.